Hey everyone, welcome to JotForm. My name is Kimberly, and today we're gonna to be walking through the newest feature to JotForm, which is approvals. And today I'm gonna to show you how the approval process works for if you are going to be approving a timesheet. So if you're in charge of approving other people's times at your place of business, this should help. All right, I'm at the landing page for approvals, and if you are a user of JotForm, you can already see how similar it looks to creating a form. We have starting from scratch, one-step approval or using a template. So for today, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm gonna click on use a template. And like I mentioned, for this video, let's do a timesheet. So I'm gonna search for timesheet and we, two of them pop up. We're gonna use the one on the left, this timesheet approval template. I'm gonna go ahead and click use template. And this is one of my favorite things when it comes to this process. I love being able to zoom out and see what is happening the entire process. So as you can see at the very, very top, we have our form. So if you click on the sample type sheet form, you can click on edit or view form and you can see what the form looks like. So we can see this one is an employee timesheet. We have their name and with this one, it has edit options and it has all the names of the people who would be using this sheet. So their name, email, we have the first day of the week and then we have Monday through Friday and start and end times, which you would normally see on a timesheet approval form. Now, if we go back to the approval process, so looking at this, you can see that there are some extra steps in here. Now this is really helpful if you have an assistant or you want someone to review and or deny these timesheet requests before it gets to you. So that way you know once it does get to you, it is pretty much fail proof. For example, someone submits the form. Let's say that this spot right here is my assistant and you can even come over here. We can click the gear and we can change who the prover email is. So again, I can put my assistant here in this piece. So let's say they submit the form. It goes to my assistant. My assistant looks over it. She can either approve it to come straight to me for my final response, or if she sees that something isn't correct, she can automatically deny it and they'll get an email. So I kind of wanted to walk you through how to get rid of this extra step. If you are the only person who's going to be reviewing and approving or denying, this would be beneficial for you. So let's say that I don't need this step. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trash this step. And yes, I do want to get rid of it. Now you can see the exclamation points pop up and it says, wait, we can't finish because there's something going on. There's no connections here. So you can see we have two denial emails. So I can go ahead and I can delete this one and I can move this up. And if I hover over approval, there's a little plus sign. So I'm gonna click that plus sign and I'm just going to click it over here. Now it's asking me what outcome do you want to be in between these? So I'm gonna choose approve. So now you can see we have the sheet comes to me. I can either approve or I can deny. You can see we have this end down here. We can go ahead and get rid of this because as you can see, we have an end on the denial and we have an end on the approval. So everything here looks great. So let's go ahead, let's publish it and give it a shot. All right, I am going to choose Molly and let's choose this date and I'm only gonna give a couple of examples. Perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit. All right, so this person has submitted the form. So now they're waiting on me as the approver to either approve or deny. So as the form owner, I can come back to the form builder and then over here in the top right, we're gonna choose tables because this is where our submissions fall or come to. And you can see we have one right here from Molly Brown. It is in progress. And so if it was me or my assistant, I would look through here and say, yep, this is correct. This is good. And I can come back over here. I can click in progress and then I can choose approve or deny. I'm going to approve and it shows approved and the notification email has been sent to me. So let's go over to my email and let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so you can see that I have four emails in here because both my email is the approver and the person who submitted it. So we can see right here, we have received your response. So this is coming to me as the person who filled out the form that they have received it. 
these two are just letting you know, hey, you have a form, you need to approve it. And then this one up here is, hey, your request has been approved. So if you click on that, you can see here, your request has been approved. So if you have any questions about utilizing this new approval process for your timesheet needs, please drop it down below in the comments and I'll see you later.